What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today what I want to go over in this video is when I think you should be doing math training. So as many of you know that have been following my videos, I used to only do math training. Math training was what worked for me. It helped me feel like I was running the right way. It helped me not get tired and it helped me really feel like I could add more mileage and run for longer durations. So over the last few months, I made a video on this, but I moved away from doing math training. I'll link that down below. I just felt like I didn't want to do math training anymore because I wasn't really finding that it suited what I was looking for. So for those of you that don't know what math training is, that's it. that stands for maximum aerobic function. It's basically the point where you're running prior to, the, to starting to burn sugar for your fuel. So the way Phil Maftone, who is probably the leader in math training, talks about it, is that if you subtract your age minus 180, you will have your math heart rate. And that's the heart rate that you stay under. And roughly speaking, if you stay under that heart rate, you're gonna be burning fat as fuel while you're running and building your aerobic base and not burning sugar. So for me, I did that for literally a year. That was pretty much how I trained. I used a Garmin for the first part and then I started using a Koros uh, afterwards where I would have on my watch face while I was running my heart rate and I would keep it below my math rate of 155. So for me, I did that for a long time, but I ultimately ended up moving away from that. But I wanted to talk about today why you should do math training and when you should do math training. There's a few different reasons. The first one I would say is when you're starting to run. If you're new to running and you're just learning how to run and getting into endurance training, I would say start with math training. And the reason why is I think it's a very good way of pacing yourself. I think it's a very good way of not going out and hammering too hard. A lot of people that I come across that are starting to run, they talk about how they can't really run for that far of a distance or, or that long of a time period. And it's really because they're going out and they're pushing too hard. What math training will do is it'll have you basically stay in a range where you're not running too hard. You're running at a comfortable pace. And if you do happen to increase your heart rate too much, you're gonna have to slow down to get back under your math rate. So if you're just starting to run, I think it's a great way to give your body a hard stop, if you will, to not push too hard. And I think you should do that for a few months to help build that aerobic base. Another time that I think you should be using math training is if you're just in a time period where you just want to go slow. And if you feel that you're a little, you're running a little bit too hard, I'd say use math for that time period that you want to go slower and want to build that aerobic base. So maybe this is preseason. Um, maybe this is during a time where you just finished your season and you want to continue to run and stay active, but you don't want to run hard. I would say doing math training then would be great because it's a time where you're allowing yourself to not have to worry about running too hard. You can go out, you can build that aerobic base, you can burn fat as fuel, you can get better at running longer distances. And the last time I would say to use math training really comes down to when you are running after an injury. And the reason why I say that is if you use math training when you're running after an injury, that is a time where you're able to hold yourself back from pushing too hard. If you're recovering from an injury, it might not be in your best interest to go out and run hard. And if you're somebody that's used to running hard, math training will help you take a step back, run slower, and not push yourself too hard and allow you to not have to worry about overdoing it with your running. I think it's a great way to not go out and hammer hard. And math training does work. I, I, I am a big proponent of it. I think it does work. I'm really fortunate to um, have what I consider a strong aerobic base. Now I can go and I can go out for a long run today. For example, I did a, a 14 mile run and my average heart rate was 139 beats. Months ago, I wasn't able to do that. I feel that I always look at my heart rate. I don't follow math while I'm running, but I feel that I still monitor my heart rate after my runs to make sure that my heart rate isn't too high because if it ever was, I would say, okay, the next run, I gotta pair that back and I gotta run a little bit slower. And those are the times when I think math training is really appropriate to use and you should use it. I, I think it's something that will make a big difference in your training. Also, just wanted to give you a reminder, I am still training for that 24 hour event where I'm attempting to run 110 miles in 24 hours to raise awareness and money for MS. I do have MS, I've been living with it now for roughly seven and a half years. So if you want to donate to my fundraiser, I'll link that down below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or any thoughts about this video. Let me know how your training is going and please make sure to hit subscribe.